name is Ricardo Montalban. No, actually, my name is Mark Bellis. And I want to talk to you about trust. Trust. You know, but trust, I'm not talking about trusting yourself, trusting somebody else. When you trust somebody, you're exposing yourself to weakness. You trust someone. Because you're counting on somebody to do something. And if that person doesn't do it, that that will have some kind of effect on you. Probably negative, maybe really bad. If you trust somebody. So really, I can honestly say I don't really trust anyone. If I need something done, I will do it myself. And if somebody wants to help, certainly welcome to help. Uh, if I need something done, if I ask somebody for a favor, that person is my plan B. My plan A will always be, I have to resolve it. What's your name? Laura. Laura? Yes. Laura, what is that one moment that you remember that you trusted somebody and you should not have trusted them? It was a past relationship. Uh, he treated me bad and stole from me, broke my heart, cheated on me, and we broke up and he went to jail and I ended up getting back with him. And I shouldn't have because it just, things got worse. And what is that one time you should have trusted somebody and you didn't? I don't know. I, that's a hard question. My mother, <laughs> she's uh, biblical, she's Christian, so when she tells me not to do something, if it's dangerous or something, I just like, Mom, just leave me alone, let me do, let me do me, let me live life, and then something ends up happening, you know, just, dang, I should have just trusted Mom. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What is your name? My name is Masu Marta. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. Can you remember a moment where you trusted somebody or something? And it was not a good decision. You should not have trusted them. Um, thank you for that question. Yes, um, there are not only one. I have few experiences like that. Among that, um, I remember one thing. Once, um, actually, I live in New York. I just come today, so it was in a subway. It was about uh, at night, one o'clock. So I. It, it was really quiet, so I trust on people because I I just get lost with the, you know, the my direction. So I ask people where, how can I get my location? But he just showed me the opposite way. So it was uh, I was all the way at the end, but I got the wrong place, and again I had to wait, and I get back. So it was almost I passed my night that day. So I was thinking that, yeah, I should look myself, not other people. I should depend on my own. Because even though I have the GPS, you know, the facility, but I just trust this man. And I ask him when I get the wrong direction. Yeah. And how about, have you ever not trusted somebody you should have trusted? Exactly, yeah, yeah. This, you know, this is life. Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> it, this happened to me also. <laughs> like... Um, like opposite way, like um, it is in my life decision. I can say, um, I, I can say this is my uh, during my education level uh, time. So when I was in school, so I have like you know um, one good what called say the. Um, I don't know. Let me say that I have like one fifth person. So I, he like guide me very nicely that you have to do this way, you have to go this way. But I don't, you know, I don't realize. I say no. Why are you talking about this? My life is like I have to go like other way. So once I go over there and I say no, there is nothing over there. So I have to go back. Once I lost so many things, and I follow him. So it was my wrong decision. I should follow him. Like the bus? No, like yeah, exactly, bus? exactly. Yeah, it was bus and this is my life train, you know. Yeah, exactly. Is there anybody?
anybody you've trusted in your life? Uh, yeah, I trusted my baby mama to let me see my daughter. And she doesn't let me see her. So, uh, yeah. Misplaced trust. Yeah, exactly. Correct. And I'm sure you want to see your baby. Right. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Devin from Detroit. Devin from Detroit. <laughs> Great. Devin, I want to ask you if you can remember a moment where you trusted somebody or something and that was a big mistake. Yes, yes I can. Um, it's quite been quite a few incidents, but I guess um, I guess one incident comes to mind when I trusted someone when it came down to um, investing in a, I guess a, a business, I guess. And from my understanding, I would make the initial investment and then every month I should see some type of, um, I guess, return on my investment. And that did not happen. Um, the only good thing I can say that did come about it was I was promised to get my initial investment back. It's just that it was kind of like a delay in getting that investment back. But you kind of, well, luckily for me, I didn't put all my eggs in that basket. But when, when, you, when you sit down and you talk about something with someone and they go over how it's supposed to go, you expect it to go exactly the way they say that it's going to go. And then when it doesn't and they say, well, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's like, well, that wasn't discussed in the initial agreement. And now you're bringing it on after the fact. So now it kind of seems like you were, you were, you were a little untruthful in some parts or you kind of just was just scamming from the beginning um so that's one one thing that comes to mind right off the top of my head i guess i can think about maybe one time um like my mom told me not to date someone this was when i was younger so i was probably like uh, 14 or 15 she just told me that she didn't like this particular guy she didn't know really what it was she couldn't put her finger on it so she just was like I don't like this guy and I still dated him anyways and it wasn't until maybe a couple of years after we broke up that a lot of things came out into light and it was like well that's what it was that she was talking about so it's, it's kind of like growing up I've always been a little um that's not wise when it comes to boys but from her experience, she, by her being older and wiser, she just was able to spot things probably from a mile away, a little better than I could. So that's one thing that comes to mind. Um, another thing is just last year, my best friend told me that I should try to do door dashing. And I, I didn't make time to do it, but looking back at it, that was something I should have done because by, that, by door dashers being independent contractors, they would have been eligible for that, that PPP loan. And since I am looking into going to entrepreneur, that would have been something really good to kind of have this year come going around. So, just so my mom and my best friend, they always got my best interest at heart. So it's just something to, to, for me to keep in mind for any future advice that they give me to just kind of trust a little bit more, have a little bit more faith in what they say. Even if I don't see it for myself, I should still do it because they clearly see something that I don't see. Hi. How you doing? Hi, what's your name? My name is Daniel. Daniel, do you want to share something about the word trust? I can. All right, what do you want to share about it? I mean, I feel like trust is just a word. I mean, everything that happened in this world is meant to happen, so I just leave that in God's hands. Simple as that. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hello. Anthony, when I say the word trust, what comes to your mind? being able to have someone to have your back you know when it's needed the most pretty much having someone to rely on like some form of security some floor to just fall back on when times get rough hi Kimberly hi when you hear the word trust what comes to mind um, first thing that comes to my mind is heartbreak because it's hard for me to trust after being stabbed in the back so many times by different people. Um, but everybody can learn to trust again. You just gotta have, you know, faith and belief in a new person regardless of what's happened in the past. I've had like past relationships that's been really hard, whether it's been boyfriends or I've been stabbed in the back by, you know, best friends and stuff. That's, you know, I just thought they were somebody who 
they're not. And have you ever not trusted somebody that then you realize you should have trusted? Um, no, not really. Usually my gut's pretty accurate on who to trust and not to trust. And um, how do you make that decision? It's just, I guess, intuition. Like, you know, some people have those behaviors that they can just tell that's like a little iffy. Um, I mean, everybody like deserves like multiple chances though, I feel like. Um, it's just like who you get along with too. Like, I feel like everybody's just trying to find their own way. So you can't really get mad at people for, you know, just living their life how they want it or how they like think they should.